Down of flames gutting a Citrus County school today. These pictures here showing us the aftermath at Inverness Middle School. A giant hole in the roof and a classroom destroyed less than a month before school starts. But as ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tells us tonight, the school promises to have everything ready for the students in time. When Principal Ernest Hopper heard his school was on fire, a lot raced through his mind. You know, what's going to happen to all the, all the students? You know, uh, are we all going to be displaced? The fire at Inverness Middle School started before 7 this morning on the roof of Building 300. These pictures from the Citrus County Sheriff's Office show fire crews working on the ground and on the roof. Construction is going on at the school, including the installation of new AC units. It's not clear yet if the work had anything to do with starting the fire. This classroom got the worst of it with that hole in the roof where crews broke through to get to the fire. Right now, our priority is just getting the mess cleaned up. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of mess. Shortly after the fire was out, a cleaning crew went to work. First step, dealing with the water damage in the classroom and the room next door. There is no summer camp or any kind of classes going on here right now, so no one was around. It looks bad, but, you know, I mean, it could have been worse, and just uh, the biggest thing is thankful that nobody's hurt. For the principal, it's his first year running Inverness Middle, and already a major challenge. We have an excellent staff, uh, very family-oriented, and we all come together, and we're going to do well. School starts here August 10th, but officials say everything will remain on schedule, and that classroom could even be ready, too. In Inverness, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.